Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum, an absolute beast. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Prison Ben coming back at you here. Uh, look, there, we, we spoke a little bit about Ethereum and, and how a lot of altcoins are unable to keep pace with it. So at the very least, make sure your altcoins are oscillators against Ethereum. If they don't oscillate against Ethereum, well, what's the point, right? What's the point? And, and you wonder why so many altcoins bleed against Ethereum. If you zoom out on Ethereum, look at what it's done over the last 18 months or so, more than 18 months. It, it basically has just been going up with time. Now there was that brief summer lull, which we did warn you about, right? When we were, when we were making, when we made this move right here, we put out many videos saying, look guys, there's gonna be a summer lull. This move is unlikely to get us to 10K and we're probably gonna to have to consolidate for a while before we, can, before we can begin that move. But if you just zoom out for a minute and you think about all the stress that you've probably dealt with with Ethereum over the last 18 months, watching it go up and down and every single week where you probably just saw it go down uh, and, and you probably freaked out, but then you zoom out, what happens when you zoom out? it generally trends higher, okay? And you can see that, I mean, it, it more or less is just on this long-term trend line. Let's remove the bull market support band here so we can get a better look at it. We're more or less just on this trend line. And this trend line dates back a long time. I mean, this, this trend line goes all the way back to, to March of 2020, more or less, that we've been sort of riding this trend line. Once upon a time, it was at 100 bucks. Then it was at, we hit it at 250 or 230 or so. And then we hit the, the trend line again at 370 and 400. We hit the trend line again at 1700 and more or less again at 2500 or 2600. And will we probably hit it again? Yeah, it's probably, it's possible in the future we'll hit it multiple times. If, if we were to hit it again, but go sideways into it, it would actually take us until January before we would get to the trend line, at least in terms of, in terms of just sideways movement, how long it would take us to get there. And, and look, I, I've said all along, I, I do believe the cycle goes beyond 2021. I know a lot of people are sort of like, mentally preparing for a 2022 bear market and you know what you could be right but i will still i still stand by that going into 2022 stood show should still be relatively bullish for ethereum um especially with the merge and whatnot coming up there's there's i i, I would also assume that some of the stuff we'll be speculating on in 2022 would be things like a, a futures etf for ethereum uh, more more institutional investors coming into the space. Look, the, the, the market is different today than it was back then. There's a lot more to speculate on. There's more people coming into the space. And frankly, Bitcoin right now is, is just chilling at 60, 60K, 61K. I don't think we're necessarily in a, in a lot of danger at this moment of a, of a year-long bear market. Now, where could that come into play? Where could, where, what would cause a, a year-long bear market for Ethereum? Well, it is my opinion that as long as we sort of just continue this relatively slower march up, right? We're not, we're not going parabolic necessarily, we're just sort of slowly going up. As long as we continue that, then I think the risk remains relatively low. Where, where it becomes an issue is when we, when we really start to move too quickly, okay? And you can see kind of like when there's times where we get really far off this trend line, like right here. One way to perhaps visualize it is to look at the short-term bubble risk on this and, and to say, look at, look at how high we were extended earlier this year. It was a lot, right? We need to, we calmed down a little bit here for a while and then we had one more push that got us more or less up to the same level. But you can see that the short-term bubble risk on, on Ethereum right now, which by the way, is just the extension from the 20 week, um, is is not that bad i mean are we are we slightly extended yeah we are we know that but it's not it we're not in the in the in the area where it seems like we're in, in about to have a catastrophic bubble pop right could we go back down to 4k yeah could we go back down to 3k that's possible too but are we going to go back down to one thousand dollars it's very unlikely it's very unlikely that that's going to happen I, I do think ethereum is just going to continue to slowly grow with time so the issue Right, the issue with Ethereum, the, the only way that I, I, I would imagine us getting into a, a pretty brutal bear market would be if we were to go up too quickly. Uh, you know, imagine Ethereum had to run to 20K or something really quickly. That probably wouldn't be good and we probably would need to spend a while 
being bearish after that for a while. As long as we're just sort of slowly trending higher, the sign me up, right? This is the best thing because you're just slowly watching your portfolio grow, uh, grow and you don't have to constantly worry about, oh gosh, is it going up too quickly? Is it, gonna, is it about to have an 80% drop? I think it looks, I think the market looks relatively healthy, okay? If you go look at the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation, I mean, honestly, quite honestly, it's, it's looking like a champ. Normally in Q4, historically in Q4, we've seen a bleed against Ethereum, or a bleed, bleed against Bitcoin. Most things bleed against Ethereum, that's why I said that. But you can see that starting in September, we were all the way at 0.08. We started to bleed. We've, we've actually come back up a little bit to 0.073. We still have been unable to put in a new, a new local high of the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation. And it seems like we should be able to put in a new, a new high probably in the next few months, especially by 2022, early 20, Q1 of 2022, if we haven't already done so. Okay, so it looks to me like Ethereum, I mean, we know that if Bitcoin goes on a parabolic rally, the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation can still bleed. But so far, it looks relatively good. We're more or less holding support at the bull market support band. And, and I, I'm pretty optimistic about Ethereum's valuation against Bitcoin. Now, from here, from here, what do we want to look at? We want to see, well, what's, what's it going to look like in Q1? If, if, if Bitcoin does go on a parabolic rally, then that could provide a timely trade. If it doesn't, then it doesn't provide that trade. Now, the, the, I mean, I think the obvious target would be to first break the prior local high and then to get to a valuation of 0 0.1, okay? That would be significant. What would, what would 0.1 mean? Well, it's just 10% of Bitcoin, okay? It's just 10% of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is at 61K, it means EtherUSD is at $6,100, right? If Bitcoin's at 100K, it means Ethereum's at $10,000. If Bitcoin's at 200K, it means Ethereum's at $20,000, okay? So that would be a key milestone to get to. And as I've said for years, I do think Ethereum's valuation against Bitcoin will make it to 0.1. It's possible, it's possible we can make it to 0.15, right? Which is all the way, which is all the way up here, which is actually the all time high for the Ether Bitcoin valuation. I've been pretty adamant all along that I think Ethereum's valuation against Bitcoin is just on a macro uptrend, a macro uptrend. We talked about this on the channel. We said, look, this is the key momentum shift in the market. We actually saw it go up and we had one more pullback down to where we were, but we still started our long-term momentum shift of the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation starting in, in 2019. And then you can see in 2020, we've been moving up. In 2021, we've been moving up. My guess is we continue moving up for probably the rest of 2021. Um, I mean, obviously, if Bitcoin goes parabolic, we could have it, we could have it go down in the short term. But I, I still would imagine that even if that were to happen, we're still gonna we're still gonna stay in the in the general uptrend, whether we come down and trend up or if we just trend up from here. I still would argue that the general direction for the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation is up, okay, over the macro scale, over like a multi-month time frame. Now, I would argue it's probably gonna keep going up in 2022. And furthermore, furthermore, a lot of people don't want to hear this, it might still keep going up in 2023. Well, I mean Ethereum maxis want to hear it, right? But I, I would argue that there's a good chance it'll it could even go up in 2023. All right, I don't I don't see this ending anytime soon. I think Ethereum's growing. I think there's a lot of good things coming for Ethereum. I've been saying it for years. Watch for people to start changing their predictions on market cycle peaks now that it's November. Bitcoin's not doing what they said it was going to do, right? I mean, as far as I can tell, everyone was caught. We should already be at two hundred thousand dollars by now. We're not. We should already be at hundred k right now. We're not. We're just trading sideways. Bitcoin's trading sideways. We're at sixty one thousand dollars. Risk on the market, I think, remains relatively low. Uh, could we have a pullback? Yeah, but I don't think we're going to have an 80% drop at this point. Not, not right now. Will we have 80% drops in the future? Probably depends on how crazy the market gets, right? It, how crazy the market gets. But it doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, Ethereum is an absolute beast. And you wonder why so many altcoins bleed against Ethereum. Look, this is what these altcoins would have to keep pace with. A lot of them just simply aren't keeping pace with it. And, and this pace, this pace that Ethereum's on is likely not stopping anytime soon, okay? That's the point. It's probably not stopping anytime soon. So make sure, you know, make sure when you're looking at Ethereum, you are, you're not, you're not sort of selling yourself short, so to speak, um, and going, going 100% into, into altcoins, okay? I don't consider Ethereum at all. But I, I do think it's, it, Ethereum does have a, a fairly bright future ahead. Look, I also wanted to mention that we, we are hiring some, so uh, we're trying to expand some of what we're doing. If you're thinking like, oh, he's finally getting an audio video person to improve the production quality. No, um, I think my, uh, my cardboard desk is, uh, 
my desk is, is already top notch. My, my webcam is, is simply unmatched on YouTube, I think. And, and the audio, uh, I mean, it's just clear as day, right? So we're not hiring for that. But if you do have experience, if you're either a software developer with experience and you're looking for you know, some work in the cryptoverse, right? If you want to jump into the cryptoverse and, um, and work there, we're looking for some software developers. And then also if you are a, uh, or if you want to be a content creator, okay? So, um, and maybe some other things too, right? There's also a little, something that says other as well. So if you're looking for a job and, and you've, you've always wanted to dive into the cryptoverse, uh, we are hiring right now. So I will leave a link to that in the description below. I also put this shout out at the end of the video so that, uh, so that only the people that, that actually watch the whole video hear it. Um, but anyways, if you're, if you're, if you're wanting to work in the cryptoverse and, and you think you have some of those skills, reach out below. Obviously, you know, there's going to be, a, I'm assuming there'll be a, a decent number of applications. We've already had a number of them because I've announced it on some other channels. We can't hire everyone, but if we have your application there, then in the future, if, if we want to hire you and, and you're still looking for a job, we can still, we can still go back and, and find those CVs. So this is just for people that are, are, are looking for, for some extra work or maybe even full-time work. Okay. We're, we're hiring for, for both. So go check it out find it in the description below and, um, and we'll be in touch. All right. So if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time.